community classes here at our complex and with my mind it's just if I can ignite a little fire and, for, and a passion for kickboxing that's all I really want to do and it's a good idea we get the discipline for the little kids and uh, you know I think it makes a difference and then I have a lot of older students I have mother daughters several mother daughters that come and uh, that's really rewarding you know they, they really enjoy it it's good for their health and it's a, it's a passion I just like to pass along as much as I can. You know, and uh, we started out just me and the kids, and it helped that I have incredibly talented kids. And we just got so into the kickboxing that it literally, it was our life. It was the main focus for a really long time. And, uh, you know, if other families could experience that, I just think that would just be awesome you know like if you could pass that gift to the joy and that that we had with those experiences i know what else could you ask for it's just a, a beautiful lifestyle and uh, keeps everybody healthy happy and just the spirit of being together you know and everybody on the the same wave is like helping each other improve and become better and it kind of spills out into the whole universe you know it's like well maybe one kid out of all these kids who pursue it and maybe have the same type of experiences that we were lucky enough to have. You know, it's just, um, that's, that's why we do it. That's why we get up, gear up, do it every day. So, I kind of feel really, really blessed at all the opportunities that I had. And I feel it's just like almost an obligation if I could pass it on a little uh, to someone else. And probably the most rewarding thing is that it already is a bit of a legacy where of course, my daughter Dorian is teaching uh, kickboxing and martial arts to little kids in South Carolina. My son Kyle is still teaching kickboxing here in California. Uh, my One of my original students, Jenny Nadell, she's still fighting professionally. She's a professional kickboxing champion. She's teaching a lot of kids that are following in our footsteps. And we reached a point, we were a training martial artist, and we did actually reach a point where we could not even afford to go to classes. So that's how Kiaki Dojo was born. We said like, we turned our basement into a dojo and then we just started teaching and training in our home. And our first few students, which was Jenny Nadell, Chris O'Brien, my son Kyle, and my, my daughter Dorian, we made a quest at that point and we said, Let's just all work together. Let's try to build ourselves up. And someday we will meet back here again and all of us will wear a championship belt. And did we believe it? I'm going to say no. Uh, especially myself. I had confidence Kyle would and Dorian would. And even Jenny and Chris, I knew they could. But me at my age, I said, I, it's very unlikely. But we, uh, <laughs> you know, we just worked towards it. And ultimately that picture is when we all finally won championship title belts and it was sort of like our vision quest, it came true and it was uh, pretty amazing. You know, we were very, very fortunate. We had great fights, great times and it's, it was like a dream come true. The happiest moments I have had is with my kids and in the ring and going through the experiences that we did with the glories, the agony of defeats, which is a real thing, but just the unity of being together and sharing that excitement. It's, it's really hard to put into words and if you have not done it, to feel you're never so alive as that moment your corner man steps out of the ring and you're just waiting for the round to start and everything floods through your brain and you just there's no way to duplicate duplicate that in real life it's just you such got such clarity of your mission you know to go out and try to do what you are training to do and it's uh you know even if you lose you can't take that moment away that moment is real it's forever and it's like uh 
it's it's why old fighters take too many old fights when they're old. It's why people maybe just push themselves because you want to recapture that feeling, you know. And it's like like they say with surfing, only surfers know the feeling. Yeah, that's true. But it's it's the same as only fighters know that feeling. You know, it is it's real. It's a real thing, and it's glorious.